There's a pleasant sight for you on a summer's day. Have you ever thought about it? In my experience, I have known of five cases of women murdered by their devoted husbands. Yes? And 22 husbands murdered by their devoted wives. So thank you? No. The marriage, it is not for me. Huh? And now I think the light, it is green. We can proceed gently. Right here. But I'm not going to have a crash. Anyway, we saw a bride. That's supposed to be good luck. Mr. Poirot, you're back. The Chief Inspector's waiting inside. Chief Inspector Jab, here? That must be the luck of which you speak, Hastings. I think he's worried about something. He hasn't said a word. Oh, yes, rather. I've never been to a fashion show before. It sounds like great fun. Yes, indeed. And thank you both for an afternoon that has been most enjoyable. Oh. oh. You know, you really should pop into a chemist with that wasp, Steve. Yes, you should. Mrs. Henderson, it's just down a towpath near the pub. She'll have some cream or something. Ease the soreness a bit. Ah, we? Oui. The chemist. Mais, certainement, we will call in on our way. Au revoir. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. You know, I wish that I could stop worrying. But the questions, they keep buzzing around my head like the wasps around the nest. The questions? Ask yourself, Hastings. The breaks of Mademoiselle Dean, why do they suddenly fail her only a few hours after they have been examined by Monsieur John Harrison? And Monsieur Claude Langton, why was he unable to destroy the nest of the wasps in the garden of Monsieur Harrison? And the most significant, Hastings, who put the petrol in the water butt? Monsieur Poirot, have the police made an arrest? And uh, no, it seems not. And uh, from what I hear, the trail has gone cold. Well, the very idea that Val could have been involved was always preposterous. Open up the doors and get some air in here. But I thought... No, 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 Hastings. Look, it seems to me... My friend, you are barking up the wrong bush. <laughs> 